the Sarasota Opera is celebrating its 59th season, and we are truly honored to have maestro Victor Dorinzi guest hoping, hosting with us today. So we want to take this opportunity to ask you some very secretive behind-the-scenes <laughs> questions. <laughs> the okay. the so you're no longer intimidated <laughs> by me anymore. I've got somebody between us. <laughs> okay, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> now, you stage at the Sarasota Opera some of the best-known operas in the world, and then you stage some, like T. Uh, that are really something you have a hard time finding that people don't see often. Is that risky? Are you well, risking ticket sales going down if people don't know this opera? We certainly don't do as many performances of an opera like Tiefland as we do of Carmen, for instance. But, you know, we service a number of communities, and one of the communities is the international opera community. So there are people who travel the world seeing operas that they can't see in their home city. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have two weekends where you could see four operas in uh, three days, and people will come and s come here because they could see Tiflon, but then also see the other three operas. Why is Tiflon so un um, unusual or rarely staged? It's, it's hard to say. You'd have to ask someone who hasn't staged it, but <laughs> it's only had two productions in America, one in 1907 and one in 1995. Oh, my. Uh, but it is performed often in Germany and Austria and German-speaking countries. It's very romantic. It's a, you know, a, a, the, the music is romantic, the, the story is romantic, and it, I'm surprised that it's not done more. It's certainly not one an opera that you'd think, oh, this is you know, strangely unmelodic. It's very, very melodic and very beautiful. So it's an opportunity to see something that you've missed so far. Now, Norma, that's sort of the same way, right? Yeah, Norma is um, one of those operas that if you're an opera lover, you know it, you've been to it, you have recordings of it, but it, again, is not one of those, it's not Madame Butterfly or Carmen or Traviata that people, hopefully, if you're not an opera lover, but you know about the arts, you know what those operas are. It's kind of even if you don't read, you know what War and Peace is. What's yeah. the story of Norma? Uh, oh, Norma <laughs> is about a, uh, a, a priestess who is a virgin priestess in, in Druidic Rome, but has two children. That's what I was going to say, oh. but she's got two kids. She has two <laughs> children, which her community does not know about. And the father of those children, being not the nicest guy in the world, has become have fallen in love with another virgin of the temple. Huh. Oh. So you know Scandal. there's going yes. to be trouble it there. It's, it's, really, it's a very compelling story. It's beautifully told. The music is by Bellini, who was oh. uh, a very melodic composer and very well respected. And uh, you know, it's just, it's beautiful. I don't know what to say. Oh, no, and oh. dramatic simultaneously. Mm -hmm. We opened that on uh, Saturday, on last Saturday. We're doing a performance tonight. And Tiefland opens on this coming Saturday. So after this Saturday, we're doing all of the operas. This is why Saturday. we're so busy. This yeah. is why we have so much traffic <laughs> lately. Yeah, that's why this is why we have to say no. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, you've been here 36 years as maestro of the Sarasota I Opera. Have. This is my 36th Amazing. season. Amazing. How did you begin? How did you get interested in opera as your life passion? Oh, my goodness. I, was, uh, I had a high school teacher who built sets for a very small company and in Staten Island, which is where I'm from, and he asked, told a bunch of us kids that we should go to the opera, and we all didn't want to go. We wanted to say no. <laughs> and finally, we came to the conclusion that if we just went once, we could tell them how terrible this was and not He's go again. And I just fell in love with it and you know, started listening to recordings and started going to performances and really studied music seriously. What was the first opera you went to? Do it you was remember? The one of the biggest operas written is the, called The Force of Destiny by Verdi, except the opera company was on a stage that was smaller than your studio and had no chorus and no orchestra oh. and really terrible singers. And my teacher built the sets, which were pieces of wood with uh, cardboard stapled to it and painted. <laughs> but I just loved it. I oh, loved the so whole thing. Oh. Yeah. And all those years later, you did 28 years of Verdi, the Verdi cycle? Every Verdi opera. And you're saying Verdi well, good, because you Thank used to you. say Verdi. I used to, and, and Verdi. <laughs> I've learned so much from you. So if people are going for the first time to their opera, what should they do to prepare for it? Nothing. Hmm. I think people have this idea that, you know, opera is very different. It's just a story told through music. Mm -hmm. And we have surtitles, so you don't have to I love don't that. think you have to speak any language, a, a matter of fact, yeah. because the, the translation is projected above the stage. And, uh, you know, I think people have the 
this idea you can come we don't care how you dress you know just come to the opera and enjoy the opera yeah it's still Sarasota it's I mean, Sarasota yeah. we're a beach community and people will come casual but also some people come with tuxedos yes, formal yes. and it, it's really I think most people's idea of, of opera is you know they see two minutes of somebody on TV and that's not what it's about it's about no getting out of your home, going to a, a community event, enjoying it, and just opening yourself up to it. It's a story, and it, so often it really touches your heart, yeah. and you can't forget it. And well, you've got lots day. of opportunities coming up now. We've got lots going on. The, the Sarasota Opera is celebrating its 59th season. And the opera's Manon Lescaut. Did I say that right? Close, Manon Lescaut. Thank you. Thank right. you. I'm getting better. <laughs> Carmen, Norma, I got that right. Tiflant, uh, they're all still being staged at the Sarasota Opera. For tickets and information, go to their website. And next, we're going to jazz things up with a little different kind of music.